<laughs> I can't pick up two. Oh, well, let me. Well. Wally. Double dock tanks. And that. Alright. I have lots of dock tanks now. Are you excited for the org to make an appearance in Tarkov? Not really. It's going to be cool, but yeah, that's about all I got for it. <laughs> Your beard looks rad. It's going. I'm probably going to shave it tonight. I hope they added, added a baseball bat with a rusty nail in it as the next weapon. I was talking about it before, Z Chum. Like, preferably, I would like to just see different styles of guns. So, like, I want to see a lever action. I want to see more revolvers. I want to see belt fed ammo, uh, belt fed guns. I don't, I don't know, like, type of guns. If you say different type of guns, then it could mean anything, you know what I mean? Like, a slam fire lead pipe shotgun. I want to see a musket. I don't think compound bows would be good in Tarkov because what would happen with compound bows is like, say they'd be like, I don't know, 7,000 rubles and you one shot someone with it. That's all you're ever going to see in Tarkov from that point onwards. Throwing knives. Of course you'd love that shit. I hate how when when you need scabs you can never find them. The next thing I'm playing fucking wave defense to try and get to the dorm. If these raids fight them, they're gonna go to a different server. Oh, imagine if they did add airstrikes. You pick up the beacon and you like throw it at someone and like. Something that would actually be really cool to talk about. around there somewhere. Uh, Fucking knew he one shot me. Let me guess. Right arm first. I did the chest. I don't get it. How? When I need scabs, I can never find them. But look at this. Look at this. Did that shotgun player? Oh, he was. He was <laughs> I knew he was there because he was like, all the scabs were just like walking around making noise and shit. And one dude was just like not, not willing to push. Would have been so much better if I Goomba stomped him, but no. Oh no, that's what I was going to say. I feel like buildings should be destructible. I feel like if you do a certain amount of damage to a building, it should collapse. And that would make the game immensely fucking cool. Like, you wouldn't be able to make dorms collapse. But like, ice cream honey outside? It's a fair game. Mm. 
Also, ah, Seriously, think you're gonna be able to run out of that? Insane, bro. Hey, Dad. Here's the five dollars I owe you. Uh, Jogan, thanks for that. The uh, five dollars. I don't know what that was. Heard someone shooting over here. Printed here and looted my mushroom. Are you fucking serious? It is thanks to getting us up to Omnom Nom 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 um, I think they could do like a little bit of an expansion on the Emicon side. Just to, I don't know. Like, I think there is a couple of small things they could do. Like, for example, this. The Emicon side. They could make this a little bit wider. Right. And then what I would do, personally, if I was a game dev, I would make this entire wall like here. An extract. You don't need to be here. You can literally extract from any of this fucking spot and just make it remove the wall and just have it as a fucking invisible wall kind of thing. You know what I mean? And then over this corner, this is, I, I don't know why they haven't done this. It's such a fucking good idea. This corner should be a extract, a paid extract that you have to hand over a fountain raid dog tag. That's it. So extract out of this corner, 
Bound in Ray, Dog Tag, bam, that's it. So you kill a player, you get the freedom of extracting over here. Then you've got the car extract over here. You've got the fucking underneath power extract. And you've got the, that one and that one. And this one should also be an extract where you can extract like anywhere along here. It doesn't have to be just here. Like where that wall goes down from there all the way along here should be the extract. I don't understand why it needs to be just that one little spot. With the dog tag one one time only. Um, it'd be like a car extract that you pay with a dog tag or something like that. I don't, I don't know the exact wording, but it'd be like smuggler's boat. Like a smuggler gets you out of there. And you've got to say that like you killed people to get out. He goes, did you get him? And he's like, yeah. and you'd be like, yes. Dog tag would promote extract camping, no. How? It's an extra extract, which means there's now like seven extracts for the map. It's because other players would know that loaded with gear, but you've got so many extracts as your options. You could use the power one. You could use the car one. You could use the main one. You could use the no backpack. You have all these different options. It's just, it's just the more extracts you have, the less opportunity there is for an extract camp. That's how it works. Because you got to, could have gone to any extract. If you kill someone over at like idea and you've got the railway extract, you're not going to run all the way to the other corner. You would think the railway one. But if you're in the middle of the mall, you can go, okay, I've got the choice of all four now. Hey, I sub, say my name. My name. Hello? You really want ice cream? Shot me in the arm.